Welcome, everyone. We are glad to have Governor Schwarzenegger here today at Sequoia High School for this bill signing. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. First of all, thank you very much to our principal, March Banks, and thank you very much for having us here in your school. Now, normally I always go to schools to talk about after-school programs, the importance of staying in school after school, or about fitness, exercising, studying, or funding education, and all those kind of things. Today I'm here to talk about the safety of our students, the safety of our teenagers. And so uh, I want to thank all of you for being here today. Today we will be signing a very important bill, which is uh, SB 33, the Teen Driver Cell Phone Safety Bill. And this is to eliminate a major distraction for our young, inexperienced drivers and to make our roadways safer for everybody. And, of course, every time you sign a bill like this, there's someone that authors it. It's a very important person. And we have that author here today, this is Senator Samidian. So I want to thank you, Senator, for the extraordinary job that you've done and always looking out for our students, especially for our teenagers. Let's give him a big hand for the great job that he's done. I want to thank you for authoring this legislation that follows his bill from last year requiring all drivers to use hand-free devices. So it is, uh, uh, the, both of those bills are very important. SB 33 increases public safety by banning teen drivers uh, from using all electronic devices while they are behind the wheel. We are talking about cell phones, uh, laptops, uh, uh, pages, anything of those uh, kind of devices that could distract you. And the simple fact is that teen drivers are more easily distracted. They are young, inexperienced, and they have slower reaction time. Not with everything, but when it comes to driving because of their inexperience. Now, the sad story is when you look at the statistics, there is 5,500 teenagers that die every year, approximately 5,500, because of traffic accidents. And the CHP just came out with a report that the majority of traffic accidents from teenagers is because they're distracted, because of cell phones, laptops, or doing their makeup, or whatever it may be, eating in a, in a car and so on. So we, we try to really lower that number, and we try to protect our teenagers. Public safety is extremely important to us. We want to eliminate any extra distraction from them so that they can focus on paying attention on the, the road and being good drivers. This is the bottom line. Now, I, of, of course, have also children. I have two teenagers. They, they, uh, you know, one is driving already a year. Catherine and Christina is about to, to drive. And so I, we, you know, I'm one of those parents, like everyone else, that when your teenage uh, child leaves with the car, you're worried until they get home. And uh, I told my daughters, I get to the car, I get to the cell phone, but if I see you one time using both at the same time, both of them are gone. The car will be gone for a long time, and the phone will be gone for a long time, and you go to school with the bus. So they know that. And uh, that I sometimes spy also on them. They also know that. Um, so uh, here's the bottom line. Both of those uh, uh, bills, uh, the last year's cell phone bill and this one, takes effect next July, uh, July 2008. And there is a $20 fine for the first offense, and there's a $50 fine for every additional offense after that. Of course, making an emergency phone call is exempt from all this. And I just want to remind our teenagers, even though this law takes effect next July, please don't use cell phones while you're driving right now. Start that right now. Don't use cell phones. Don't use pages. Don't use uh, laptops or anything that can distract you because you could lose your life or you can go out there and cause a lot of damage to other people's uh, uh, vehicles and life and orders. So take that really seriously. So, again, I want to say thank you very much uh, to uh, uh, Senator Samidian for his great, great work, and I want him to come out now and to say a few words about his bill. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you all very much, and thank you to the governor for making the visit and, most importantly, for signing the bill today. And thank you to the folks here at Sequoia who have been such gracious hosts and who do such a great job with our kids here on the peninsula. Uh, I, the two questions I was asked most frequently during the course of the last year are, 
why did you introduce the bill, and will a two-year delay really make any difference? The answer to the first question is simple. I introduced the bill because it will save lives. As to whether or not a two-year delay from the age of 16 to the age of 18 will make a difference, the answer is absolutely. The crash rates for 16-year-olds are five times greater than they are for their 18-year-old friends. If we can just get these kids to put down the PDA, the text messenger, the cell phone for a couple of years, we're going to save a lot of lives, not only theirs, but ours as well. That was the basis for the legislation. I think it's a lifesaver. I'm glad the governor agrees. I'm particularly pleased that the bill was passed with bipartisan support in both houses. That's what brought it here today. As the governor referenced, car crashes are the number one cause of death among teenagers in America today. A lot of things we can't do to solve many of those deaths, to uh, avoid many of those deaths, but there is something we can do in this particular case to save the lives. I know that getting access to a set of car keys and a cell phone is sort of a teenage rite of passage, but the two taken together really have proved to be a deadly combination. We know that probably 60 percent of the teenagers who were surveyed acknowledge that they are engaged in risky driving behaviors. Of that group, more than half say that they're on the cell phone while they drive, and close to half say that they're text messaging while they drive. Uh, and that, in my view, is a pretty scary notion. We're going to end up with a safer uh, group of kids here at Sequoia, and that pleases me. Uh, and let me just close with this. Um, you know, the loss of any life is a human tragedy. Each one of these kids is somebody's son or daughter, somebody's brother or sister. But somewhere among the 1,600 kids who are here at Sequoia, there may be a future classroom teacher, peace officer, high-tech innovator, maybe even a future governor, Allie, who knows. To waste that kind of human potential when we could save these kids' lives just by asking them to put down the text, text messenger or the cell phone over the course of a couple of years would be tragic and wasteful. I'm glad the governor's here to sign the bill. And next year, when we get to July 1st, 2008, putting the two bills together, the rules of the road will be very simple. If you're 18 or over, hands free. If you're under 18, hands off. That will be the law in California, and we'll all be the safer for it. Thank you very much. I'm pleased to introduce now uh, the California Golden Gate Division Chief, uh, Teresa Becker. Teresa and I uh, have had the pleasure of working together before on these hands-free issues. She was with us uh, last year when the governor was uh, good enough to sign the hands-free bill. So please join me in welcoming our Golden Gate Division Chief, Teresa Becker. Chief Becker. Got to lower the microphone. Uh, first, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Senator Simidian and Governor Schwarzenegger for their relentless perseverance on traffic safety laws. This is probably, SB 33 is one of the best bills that I've seen from a traffic safety perspective. Um, and I'm going to repeat some of what's already been said because I think, I think the focus has to be there. Uh, teen drivers are op overrepresented in all TC categories, traffic collision categories, every single one of them, fatals, injuries, and, and regular uh, non-injury collisions. Inattention is number one in traffic collisions along with speed for teenagers. Traffic collisions are the leading cause of death for 15 to 20-year-olds. A person's first year of driving is the most dangerous year of their life. Now, from a law enforcement perspective, this bill makes every sense. We look at this. Uh, graduated licensing bills were passed um, in the 90s. They limited the number of passengers teenagers could have in their car with them, and they limited the times that they were able to drive. They did that because of the attention factor. This is a time in a teenager's life where they're trying to learn how to do something that is very dangerous for all people. So passage of this bill, to me, is just a next step in that same thing to try and avoid inattention and to try, try and create a safe environment for our teenagers to learn how to do good driving behaviors. Um, from a law enforcement perspective also, the question will be, um, how is this going to be enforced? Um, of course, the, the law does not go into effect till July of next year. And we believe strongly that education is the foundation for all of our laws. So starting immediately, we've already been putting the information uh, about Senator Simidian's hands-free bill. 
um, into all of our training courses. We'll be incorporating this information into all of our training courses, including our Start Smart program, which is specifically designed to teach teenagers how to drive. From an enforcement perspective, this is not a primary law, which means that we can't pull people over just because we see a teenager uh, speaking on a hands-free system or, or whatever. But what we will be able to do starting July 1st is enforce the hands-free bill. So pretty much it's probably not going to be much of a problem. Normally, when we drive down the road, and I was talking about this a little bit earlier, um, you can always tell somebody that's on a cell phone because they're going slower, then they're going faster, they're weaving around in their lane, they're not paying attention to their driving. It's not too hard to pull somebody over for other erratic driving behaviors. We will be taking this law seriously. It is designed to save the lives of the people most at risk in traffic collisions, and we will be out there looking for these violations. And I just want to thank Senator Simidian and Governor Schwarzenegger again for their focus on traffic safety, and thank you. <laughs> the governor's keeping us all in line here. <laughs> um, it is now my pleasure to introduce Lorraine Rumley, who's a representative of the Sequoia High PTSA. On behalf of the Sequoia High School PTSA, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to Governor Schwarzenegger and Senator Simidian, along with the other dignitaries here today. I'd also like to acknowledge and thank the California PTSA for their support of Senate Bill 33. As a parent of a 16-year-old, I know firsthand, along with the governor, the fear and trepidation we have when our sons and daughters first get their driver's licenses and head out of that driveway. And while we'd like to believe they would, that they would follow all the, our do's, do's and don'ts, we know that is not always the case. Senate Bill 33 will give parents an opportunity to sit down and discuss with our children the dangers of talking and texting on cell phones and other electronic devices while driving. Senate Bill 33 will highlight the seriousness of this type of distracted behavior and I believe will help prevent the very unfortunate accidents and deaths that have occurred as a result. I would like to thank State Senator Simidian for authoring, authoring this legislation, and I applaud Governor Schwarzenegger for his leadership in signing into law Senate Bill 33. I'd like to have extreme pleasure, and I'd like to introduce our uh, Sequoia High School student body president, Allie Collin. Hello, everyone. My name is Allie Collin, and I'm a student body president here at Sequoia High School. As a student body president here at Sequoia, I feel that the, the SB 33 will have an important and positive effect on our youth today. Our generation is experiencing more and more advantages, such as having the privilege to drive at the age of 16. I believe that it is important that we take into consideration the strong effects that this bill will have on our youth. Not being allowed to use a cell phone while driving is vital, because it not only keeps us focused, but also prevents us from having to face accidents that may result in injury or death. Since car accidents cause deaths, by signing SB 33, we will be able to decrease the number of, dis of distracted drivers on the road. And like always, remember, safer driving will help create a safer community. Thank you for allowing me to voice my opinion regarding this bill on behalf of Sequoia High School. And I would personally love to thank Ar Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger and Senator Samidian for being here at my school. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I'll come back real quick. Before we do questions and answers, the governor, I just want to point out, you're the only person here today who can call herself president, okay? So congratulations <laughs> on that. Thank you. <laughs> if you have any questions, please feel free. Any specific questions about the bill, we have the senator here who authored it, so he will be more than happy also to answer any of the questions. So go ahead. All right, thank you very much. It's really nice. I love it. When we say it all, this is really the ideal situation. Well, have a good day and enjoy it. Now we want to go over and actually sign the bills so that we can, you know, make, turn this into law. So this is why also we wanted to be at a school, because I think it is important for students to get a little bit of a lesson here that what happens, you know, that the legislators, there's an author, the legislators vote on it, then they send it to my desk. 
But this bill, because it's for teenagers, we thought instead of signing it on my desk, we bring the desk here. It's not my desk, really. It's a, your desk. But, I mean, we want to send it right here. Okay, so let's do that. Thank you, everybody.